So, hey everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of Johnny Chips Weekly. It is episode number 72. My name is John Lunn, a.k.a. Johnny Chips, and it is Friday the 13th of May 2022. This episode is called Organise. Let's get on with it. So yes, hey everybody and thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the episode. My name is John Lunn. Um, usual format again this week. Hope you've all had a fantastic week in work. It is Friday again and, you know, usually we get a little bit of a break across the weekend. But if you are working, have a great weekend. If you're not working, have a great weekend. Okay, so like I say, usual format this week. Let's just uh, jump straight on into some community call-outs for the week. So first up, less than two weeks to go, we've got Microsoft Build. Um have you registered? If you've not registered, jump on over to the mybuild.microsoft.com website and get yourself registered. From the 24th to the 26th uh, this year, we've got Microsoft Build, uh, where there's going to be a whole plethora of news, announcements, exciting talks, sessions, ask me anything, ask the experts, roundtables. There's a whole myriad of stuff going on. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to be um, invited down to the UK Day, which is an in-person section of Microsoft Build. Um, I think they're doing spotlight sessions across the world, and the UK session is going to be at uh, Thames Valley Park, the Microsoft HQ in the UK. So really looking forward to uh, meeting up with everybody down there on the 25th. I believe I'm going to be there. So like I say, lots going on. So excited to see how that day goes. And if you haven't registered, go and get get yourself registered now and uh See you there. In other news, uh, sticking with the Microsoft Build theme, Olivier Block has um, just popped this up now, just a, a bit of a pick list of all the IoT content that's there at Microsoft Build this year. So I've had a quick peruse through now. You know, certainly there's going to be stuff that I'm going to be putting into my um, backpack or whatever we've got it called this year at Microsoft Build. <clears throat> some great sessions, like I say, some great innovation ideas and things that we can kind of start to learn. So Thanks to Olivier for kind of putting this together and pushing this out. So go and check that out. Uh, and also sticking with Microsoft Build, we've got a Cloud Skills Challenge. So if we click on this, you can sign up for the Cloud Skills Challenge this year, which is the Microsoft Build Cloud Skills Challenge May 2022. Uh, I've not yet signed up for it. Um, there'll be eight challenges available to choose from. Uh, they're going to be 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 starting on the 24th of May and they'll end on the 21st of June. So got a month to kind of work through some of these challenges if you can. And usually, there we go, so you get a Microsoft certification exam voucher. So it's um, not to be sniffed at. If you are looking to study for any exams, pick one of the learning tracks when they are made available and get yourself a free Microsoft exam. Moving on. So, yeah, April Edwards uh, caught up with April uh, earlier on in the week or back end of last week. And she's written a blog around Azure Terrify. If you've not seen Azure Terrify, this is the way that we can kind of scan a resource group in Azure and kind of pull the resources out and have it described to us in um, in HashiCorp configuration language, HL. So that the, the language that's used to deploy uh, infrastructure via Terraform effectively. So... Go and check that out. Follow April on Twitter and get a link to the blog. But she does a really great walkthrough, how you get it set up, how you get started with it, you know, the commands that are needed to kind of run this and pull out your Terraform files from that. So you can see that uh, once you've run it, you can find these generated Terraform files um, that have been created for you by Terrify. So great little utility. Go and check that out. And thanks for the blog, April. Azure Thames Valley, so they got one week to their in-person event. This was the other day, so I believe it's on the 18th, uh, 19th of May. Thursday, the 19th of May, 6 p.m. British Standard Time, British Summer Time. <clears throat> anyway, they're going to have Ryan Yates there uh, to talk around operational Azure management, uh, making that a breeze. And then we've got Teague Brennan and Chris Reddington talking about building serverless cloud-native applications with Azure Container App. So bookmark that date. 19th of May, and yeah, go and show some support to the Azure Thames Valley Group. Kevin Evans has got a new um, 
session podcast, YouTube podcast. I don't know what you call them, video cast. I don't know, whatever they call them these days. Um, so with the awesome Mike Pfeiffer and Tim Warner and the, the obviously Robin then is partner up with Kevin to get these sessions up and running. So Streaming Clouds Live will be, when is this one? When is this? Six days on. See, I'm going to have to click on this YouTube link to get the actual date and time. 18th of May. Nine uh, nineteen hundred hours, which is seven p.m. here in the UK. Um, did you put that on there? No, I'm just seeing if I'm being. Yeah, put your date on there, Kevin. So uh, <coughs> there we go. Eighteenth of May, seven p.m. BST. Tune in for that. Some awesome content. You'll you'll always get awesome content when you've got these guys involved. So it's worth bookmarking and uh, and joining in the fun. Next up, Charlie Goff is uh, he set up this cloud security community within Twitter. Um, follow me; I've retweeted this out. Or follow Charlie on Twitter of, uh, at Get Off Me Land uh, and join the community. It's going to be all around cloud security. So if you are interested, join that community uh, for some great kind of interaction, great talks, and um, discussions in there. Next up, yeah, congratulations to Michael Cade. Um, GitHub Trending has retweeted this out. Uh, Michael's uh, Git, GitHub repo. 90 days of DevOps. Um, I've had a peruse of the, the repository itself. It's a fantastic repository. So, yeah, like I say, congratulations. It seems to be going from strength to strength. It's really hit the mark there with a lot of people. So if you've if you've not done much with DevOps or you're looking to come into the world of DevOps, <coughs> go and give this a, a look. So Michael Cade slash 90 days of DevOps on GitHub. Uh, go and check it out. Um, it's a fantastic repo. Lots of information in there. Lots of... Uh, pathways i guess and things to look at when you're learning devops principles and devops bits and pieces so thank you for that michael and congratulations once again uh okay so rick claus has retweeted this out uh thomas maurer uh has got together with amy coiler to describe uh getting to know azure arc so if you are looking at that hybrid cloud journey and looking to understand how you can manage um, maybe some on-prem resources using that cloud uh, control plane. Azure Arc is there for you. Go and um, go and check out that session and get to know Azure Arc a little bit more. And next up, Jack Tracy just reminding us that um, a new version of uh, Azure Landing Zone Bicep has been released. Now, if you remember, I did a quick uh, video with Jack Tracy this week. It's there available in the um, in the playlist below the schooled in series. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a fantastic set of modules, Azure Landing Zones, using Bicep to deploy in a modular fashion those kind of footprints, those initial starting points for you to start to leverage cloud resources. We've got a new version out now. Go and check that out. I would highly encourage you to do that. Rue Campbell just retweeted out about the M365 Security and Compliance User Group uh, session, again, 18th of May. So there's a bit of an overlap there between sessions, but... Again, it's always the way. There's lots of great content going on across the community. So um, we've got Victor Hedberg and Nestori Cinema um, giving us some sessions, deep dive into Azure AD join and tiering in Active Directory, um, prevent exposure of sensitive credentials by going back to basics from Victor. So go and check that out. Follow the user group on Twitter, which is there, M365 S and C U G. And, of course, follow Rue Campbell because he's um, uh, actively a part of uh, the security and compliance community. So thanks for the tweet, Rue. <coughs> uh, new user group alert. And look out for this now because there's no actual dates other than follow them on Twitter. So at Come Cloud with us. Imran has retweeted out to say that Abdul and Chris have launched this new user group called Come Cloud with us. Clearly, there's going to be some exciting things going on there. So please do go and sign up, follow the group on Twitter and show them some support when they get their initial sessions launched. And finally, congratulations to Elkan. So Elkan, who was my guest um, on In Conversation With, uh, yet to be aired, uh, has reached 1,800 plus learners <coughs> on his Azure Bicep First Look LinkedIn Learning course. So if you are interested, go and check that out. There's some fantastic people doing some great things across the community and certainly around learning materials so uh yeah thanks for that elkin um yeah and that's the community call outs for this week okie dokie so let's just jump straight on back over now we'll talk about what's going on with the welsh shore user group we've got our session coming up soon our next session 
And of course, it's the 18th of May. It's exactly the same day as a lot of other things. Like we 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 always seem to clash. There's always some clashes going on because there's so many fantastic people doing some, so many fantastic things. So um, not that I'm biased, but please do come along to the Welsh Azure User Group. Show your support, RSVP. 18th of May, 6.30 p.m. Um, British Summer Time, not GMT. Need to update that clearly. <coughs> got it there, BST. Good. Get out of jail. That's just the template. Anyway, we've got Joe Hodkinson coming on to talk about Azure Migrate and migrating those initial workloads over into the cloud. And Neil Hambly is going to come on to talk about Azure Security Fundamentals, so fundamentals. Uh, yeah, if you can, RSVP, please do. It'll be a Teams virtual event um, full of you know fun. We, we have a quiz. There are some prizes to be had. So what more do you want to, to entice you over? And you get some fantastic learnings from awesome people in the community. So uh, what more do you want? But anyway, that's the Welsh Azure user group for this week. So what have I been up to this week then? On the side, Johnny Chips on the side. Um, a fair bit, a fair bit is probably fair to say. So um, let's go and have a little look. As I alluded to um, earlier on, I did a fantastic, well, I mean, Jack Tracy came on and did a fantastic schooling episode with me on the Azure landing zones, so deploying those Azure landing zones using the new BICEP modules that have been developed by Jack and his team. Uh, he gave us a run through, showed us a few things, showed how the modules kind of broke down so we can deploy individual component pieces of Azure landing zones. And yeah, just go and check that out. It's in my playlist below, the Schooled-In playlist. It seems to have had some fantastic traction first off. It's got quite a few hundred views within the first um, you know, week or so. Well, less than a week, I guess, a few days. Uh, yeah, and huge thanks to Jack for coming on and um, doing that session for me. It's, um, it's a great starting point for anybody uh, looking to start on their journey with deploying uh, infrastructure or anything into the cloud effectively. Uh, go and check that out. My guests last week on In Conversation with the awesome Wim Matheson and Carol De Winter, um, two fantastic guys in the community. Again, they're community leaders. They're doing fantastic things with their own user groups. We had a fun chat. It was a, a three-way chat. Um, had a chat with the guys. Like I say, awesome to get their perspective on things. If you missed that episode, it's available below in the playlist, the In Conversation with playlist. Do go and check that out. Have a little listen. Drop us some feedback. Let us know what you thought. Um, and yeah, and thanks to the guys for coming on and doing that episode. Um, but it is Friday. <coughs> on Friday, we have another episode being launched. And tonight, it's with Mr. Andy Cutler. So Andy comes on tonight, and we discuss all things data and analytics. Um, Andy is a, a data platform MVP himself. He's got some fantastic views, opinions, um, perspectives on data and where we're going and that kind of stuff. So do join us tonight, uh, 7.30, I can never remember the time, 6.30 BST. Tonight, it'll be going out live, and there's a whole bunch of links there to uh, follow up with Andy. If you've got any questions, sign up for the Data Weekender. Andy's involved in some fantastic community events as well, and that they're all ongoing at the moment. So, yeah, be great to have you on. Uh, drop us some comments over as well if you can. And just to finish off, kit and watch. So, yeah, as you may or may not know, one of our cats had some kittens and they are growing. So I thought I'd take some ridiculously cute photos of the kittens because, you know, what what more can uh, a weekly update be uh, completed without a bunch of kitten photos? Look at that. So anyway, that's what I've been up to this week. Uh, let's head back on over to the big face. If I can find the button there. That one. Okay, so, um, yeah, huge thanks to everybody for tuning in. We're going to finish off this episode now with our Azure news and updates. So without further ado, let's get on with the news. And here we are. Welcome to the news section. Yes, my beautiful clouds, which one we're going to look at by here, and my little monitor by there. I, you know, I really want to jazz this up a little bit. I've been saying I'm going to learn a bit about Unity soon and give myself a 3D world to play with. But um, anyhow, let's get on with the news for this week. There have been a number of announcements this week. 
First up, we've got general availability as your data lake storage, Gen 1 and Gen 2, a Gen 1 to Gen 2 using the Azure portal. So if you need to move from that Gen 1 data lake storage, which is going to be retired at the end of February 2024, then the recommendation is obviously to go to the, the data lake storage Gen 2. <clears throat> and you can take the advantage, you know, take advantage of the additional feature sets that that gives you. But yeah, you need uh, the, there's a way to uh, move that now from Gen 1 to Gen 2 via the portal. So go and check that out if you are interested. Uh, OCR supports 164 languages, uh, which is a part of the Cognitive Services Computer Vision platform. So fantastic. So if you are doing any OCR or need to do any OCR, you can rest assured that there's a lot of languages in there now that Microsoft have put support for uh, within Cognitive Services. So go and check that out. Uh, Azure SQL general updates available for early May. We've got uh, SQL database hyperscale service tier now provides 49 99.99% availability SLA. Uh, GA, minor versions upgrade for Azure database for my SQL flexible server. Okay. Public preview, Azure container apps now support log streaming and console connect. So uh, container apps is that service for building and deploying modern applications and microservices uh, using serverless containers. Uh, now provides live log streaming uh, and the ability to connect to, to a container's console. So Log streaming is helpful when testing and diagnosing your containers in your container app. Being able to connect to the console of running container enables you to execute shell bash or shell commands as needed. Cool. Uh, GA, IT SM, IT service management integration with secure webhook, web if I can speak. Uh, another public preview announcement, static web app supports skipping API build, uh, builds via Azure pipelines. Uh, so static web apps now provides the option to skip the default API builds um, as Azure pipelines while setting up the YAML build configuration. So you can set the skip underscore API underscore build flag to true in order to skip those builds. More public preview, improved Azure DevOps support with uh, in Azure static web apps. Um, it supports seamless CI/CD integration with ADO uh, via the portal. So you can now opt for a DevOps as your deployment source and link your DevOps account to populate repository details with a single click. Good stuff. Uh, general availability, we've got Azure Compute Gallery support for trusted launch virtual machines. Cool. And we've got a GA of Azure IoT Edge supports Debian Bullseye on ARM32 v7. <laughs> so, yeah, I've not, not used Debian Bullseye at all, so I might need to do a little bit of re reading. So... Package, packages can be, even be used for Debian 11, which is called Bullseye, or the latest Raspberry Pi OS. Great stuff. Uh, more GA, Azure Arc enabled server support for private endpoints. So private endpoints for Azure Arc enabled servers enable you to manage your Windows and Linux servers from Azure <coughs> without sending network traffic over the public internet for enhanced security. Servers can be configured to use private endpoints, yeah, um, associating, associating them with an Azure Arc private link scope and connecting your on-premise network to an Azure virtual network using a site-to-site -site VPN or express route. That seems an interesting concept. I'm going to have to read a little bit more about that. And finally, public preview, Azure Virtual Machines DC SV3 uh, are in Australia, Japan, US, and Asia, which is great to see. So there we go. There's our news and updates from Azure for this week. Let's head back on over. Okay, yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, it's been a great show. Um, uh, hopefully you enjoy these shows. I enjoy putting them together on a weekly basis. Nice 20-minute episode for us this morning. So hope you've got out of it what you need. Please do like, subscribe, drop us a comment. You know, let, let us know what you think of these shows. Um, you know, we're, we're on episode number 72 now. So lots going on. Um, thinking of various different ways to take this show, obviously, to save some time basically because we've now got back to doing a bit more um, in person. So let us know how you, you find these. But anyway, that's it for now. I've been John Lund. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you all next week. <laughs>